Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. My name is Rick and today we will be looking at how to do combinations and permutations on the Sharp EL531XT calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key located here and the 5 with the second function combination key located here and the 6 with the second function permutation key located here. All right, to start, let's look at combinations. Combination is when you choose a certain number of objects from a set and the order does not matter. So if we have five objects and we want to choose two and it doesn't matter the order that those two are chosen, we can find this out by going five, then second function, five again to get the second function of five, which is NCR or combination and then 2. So 5 choose 2. You can see the C up there which indicates combination and then equals 5 choose 2 equals 10 which is the right answer. Alright let's try this with a larger number. Let's say we wanted to choose 3 from 100. We would start by entering the 100. Second function, 5 to get the C. And then 3 is the number we're choosing. So equals. You can see we have, if we have 100 choosing 3, there are 161,700 possible combinations for this. All right, how about permutations? A permutation is similar to a combination, except the order that an object is chosen does matter in this case. So if we have a set of five and we want to choose two, where the order that these objects are chosen does matter, we would go five, second function, six, to get that P there that indicates it's a permutation, and then 2. So we're choosing 2 from a set of 5, and the order does matter, and we press equals, and we get 20. There are 20 possible permutations. How about with a larger number? Say again 100, choosing 3 as a permutation. Well, we go 100, second function, 6, to get the P up top. 3 equals. And we can see we get 970,000 and 200 possible permutations. Alright, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests.